This place feels familiar. The way out is at the very end. Hello. Can I do something for you? Hello. We met already. Hey, what's going on with you? It's the boy! He killed her! I'm sorry. Killed her? What the hell? What's going on? She's right. I'm doing this. No! I see no rats. It's the mistake I made. It's what I've become. Let's not stay here. Come. Oh no, we are we gonna have to kill yet. Hugo? We'll find a solution, but first we must get out of here. Yes. Hmm. She keeps pushing him. Look at them. To like run away and then he just keeps causing death no matter where he goes and this is just kind of like from his perspective I like this place and these people all the people that he you met to stop this i can't just focus you did it before have you already forgotten it's a lie it's the macula playing tricks i am the macula now i am what no you know it could happen it's too late no, no, no. I let the macula take all of me. Now this is what happens. I... I know. We must do something. We must stop people from dying. Maybe if we leave, it will stop. Yeah, but where, though? Where are we supposed to live? Like, Amicia, in a desolate place without people? Others. And even more as the rats spread. So this is the end? Not completely. We have one chance. What chance? The last one. Tell me. I'll do anything. Is that the mountain where their mom's I house is? I... You must stop me. Aww, Just he wants us to Macula. kill him. Hugo, you can't ask me that. You're the only one who can stop me from becoming a monster. You're not a monster. I will be. If I kill all I love. All these nice things you showed me. I understand, but... Please, Amicia. I... I'll try. Nah, she's not gonna be able to do it. Aww. I'm doing good, what? thank you. We're almost done with this game. We're at the Hugo, second to last chapter. Where are you? Where are you? Oh no, where'd I'm Hugo sorry, go? But you're ready now. To save everything. Ready? How can I be ready for this? I know. But I can't stop myself now. Only you can stop me. Shit. Hugo. I love you. I've been happy with you. Aww. Goodbye, Amicia. I love you. I love you so much. After all the shit they went through. But when you're gone, there'll be nothing else. You have Lucas and Sophia. I'll be alone. <laughs> All alone. <laughs> I guess she feels like no purpose without her little brother. I can't. Aww. I mean, do that hydrate, Kevin, my bad. You did? What did you think of the game? Bonkers. Oh, Lucas! Yay! Lucas, <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Oh, that looks like yes. the like the previous macula user, like how he went, like all like locked up and shit. He's there. Yes. Do you know what you have to do? Yes. Ah, this is crazy, dude. Ah, oh, 
my god. This is crazy. Look at all the bodies. We gotta kill this little boy, our brother. She's actually gonna do it? Damn, this is really like, it's so pretty, but also so dark. It's crazy. Like that red sky, oh my God. Aw, seeing him like that is so sad. Amicia, we're here. I know. It's really hard to see him like that. Oh no. Oh. Really? We gotta use our sling against him? Ah, oh, fuck, dude. Why do games have to do this? I thought they would just do it for me and not make me do it. Are you fucking kidding me? I can't do this. That was actually really hard. Oh my god. <laughs> That's how they ended it. Shit. Jeez. Wow. <sighs> oh my god, dude. Wow, how did they just ended the game like that? <laughs> just straight up sling headshot my brother right in the head. Boom. That's crazy. That is a bold ending for sure. Would there have been a way for me to not do that? <laughs> That's crazy. I feel so bad. Like... Damn. All that shit we went through just to have to be the one that kills him. I get- I get what would happen. Brady's trying to cheer me up. Come on. Oh, you didn't cheer me up. Yeah, that ending's super sad. It's like, we went through all this stuff, trying to protect him, trying to get him to chill so that he didn't have to have the macula take over him. And like, no one really listened to us and they kind of just kept like trying to kill Amicia and trying to take Hugo and like, To go through all of that just to have to be the one anyway, it's like, couldn't we have just done that from the beginning? I mean, I know why we couldn't have, because we wanted, we thought there was a way to fix him. And it sucks that there was a certain point of the game where it was like, there was, there was a certain point of the game where it was kind of slow and like, the, like, it's so quiet right now. Like, all you hear is waves. That's crazy. Like, they just ended it quietly. No music. Exactly. Legacy of Darun family. It like got slow at one point and then the ending just like kind of like really picked up and for them to end it like that. Okay, one year later. 
Is Lucas all grown up? Oh no, that's Amicia. Sorry. <laughs> she is a year older, I suppose, so. She kept her hair short. Where's Lucas? And Sophia? Feels higher each time. There she goes. Of course. I wouldn't miss this. Careful. I smell like a goat. Well, then welcome to your land, goat. How do you feel? Are you ready? I guess so. No point in wasting time, then. Wait. Where's Lucas? Oh, where's Lucas? I'm gonna catch up with you guys. Oh, Hold on. Let's go. Hold on, wait. You wish. Fair to have there. Lucas do it. So. That was really good, though. That was done really months. well. Walking, I didn't think I was gonna tear up at this game, but the way they did it was like really myself. well. Does it work? It's better. Yes. Good. You had me pretty worried, you know. I'm fine, Sophia. It's been a year. Already. And how's the business going? Good. Doing more legal trading these days. Oh. Legal? What happened? Well, I just want to live longer. Really? I like a quiet sea better than a storm. Speaking of which, we'll depart tomorrow. Great. Great. Is our alchemist coming? Lucas. Oh, no. He's still on the road studying all by himself they grew up so fast he needed this lucas probably had a huge growth spurt Whew. getting chilly let's pick up the pace a bit yeah thanks everything looks so pretty like no rats i so wonder if do you know what we can put you ashore? What we're gonna, what they're Not gonna yet. do with the sending? But I like, think I'll know when I come across the signs of the macula. Yes, it leaves marks on things and people. I think Wait, I why? can find where the next carrier and protector will rise. Oh, the next plague. I want to set the path for them, like Alia did for us. No use telling you just to rest, then. None. Fine. So they, she knows that like a new oh, protector and macula so user good. are gonna be born. Quiet. Yes, I'll miss it. But what is she gonna do? Like, basically tell them like you gotta kill your the macula user even if he's a kid or she's a kid. You know what I mean? Like, how how can you convey that message? Like that's not something anyone's just going to accept easily. I mean, we didn't. Even though we saw the protector fail. Boys, this is Amicia. Be kind to her. It's a special day. Hi. He pulls up like Legolas in Lord of the Rings and snipes him. <laughs> also coming to terms with acceptance as Hugo once had done. Yeah. Exactly. Can you give me some time? I have one last thing to do. Ooh. Take as much as you want. My back still hurts from the road. No storm I think coming. she now knows how to protect the carrier and all. One. I see. It won't take too long. That's true. She knows that like if if they keep the carrier um kind of calm and happy and it's going to be alright. 
then they won't feel the need to unleash the rats. But like, could you really keep anyone happy? <sighs> really? Like, people, kids, adults, people, period, are bound to feel some level of stress and fear. And if they have the power to do that, it's kind of inevitable, especially, especially if people know he has the power and they're able to, so flat compared to this. like detect it and prevent it, like other people are gonna cause stress on him just like they did with Hugo and Amicia. So like, I don't think a carrier can live in a world without fear and stress that'll make them avoid unleashing the rats and causing the plague, you know? It just seems like impossible, I think. Now I'm a handsome stud. Is this medieval hookup simulator? No one's hooked up yet, but I'm kind of uh, rooting for Amicia and Lucas to hook up. Not that they need to show it, but I feel like there's a romance there, budding. They will live hidden. It's me. I'm coming in. But is that possible though? Like, could you live without others? You know what I mean? Wow, that's so pretty. Oh my god. Goddamn. Alright, guys. It's going to be alright. Oh no, there's birds though. Isn't that bad? <laughs> I fear birds now more than rats. You're simping for Sophia. I really like Sophia. She's an awesome character. Are those phoenixes? I think they're too small to be phoenixes, no? Oh, is this his grave? Hey. They didn't used to come here before. I always knew you'd be good at making friends. I wasn't sure I was ready, but Sophia's here. So she's gonna leave. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why is it so hard? Cause that's your little baby bro. You guys been through a lot together. We never backed down, right? We held. May this earth remember how much you loved it. May it remember all you gave to protect it. I remember. And I won't let it be forgotten. You're waiting for Master Splinter walking with a cane and say hi, Amicia. It's me, Hugo. <laughs> she has to go to New York City for that. <laughs> Alright, is this how they end it? Where, like... She just leaves? Okay, okay. So she's living her life with Lucas and Sophia. Well, Lucas is studying, but her, her and Sophia are like... Letting go of this mountain where they had to 
Barry Hugo. Um, yeah, I almost think it would have been more compelling if they ended it right where you kill him, right? And just kept that, like, quiet, like, credits. But I suppose they wanted Amicia to have some closure. Because maybe they're done with the Plague Tale, I, I, I imagine. I don't know. I don't see how they can go further unless we meet a new Macula user, but... That wouldn't be Amicia's journey, that would be someone else's, right? So yeah, I don't know. Um, the ending was done really good, I'm telling you. The last three chapters were excellent. Even the first three chapters were excellent. Somewhere in the middle, though, it was just very boring and redundant and repetitive. And I was like, ah, oh, like, the set pieces and the places you go to are very pretty. And seeing them, like, in, like, their sunny form without rats. And then seeing them infested with rats and how that changed the landscape was quite genius and beautiful however um i think that the gameplay this type of gameplay where everything's a puzzle like how you attack enemies how you stealth around enemies and even how you navigate the different locations so that you can proceed are all very puzzle and when you have a game that's very puzzle oriented that's this long it kind of along the way loses its luster like it it just got old fast and that's why i think the pacing of the first game was better because it was so short so they had like di the di different set pieces felt unique to one another whereas this one somewhere in the middle to the end it felt repetitive um but i think they did start strong and i think they did end really strong so that's good um i thought the ending was super super strong and like, I had a feeling we would have to kill Hugo, but I didn't know how they would do it. And I thought the way they did it was really, really compelling and memorable. Like, I'm definitely going to remember how this game ended. Um, definitely a much stronger ending than, than A Plague Tale Innocence, of course, because A Plague Tale Innocence was like chapter one and this is chapter two. I think this is the end, though. I don't think they're going to do a trilogy, but um, who knows? Who knows? I suppose they can. I just, how, where do we get, what's the point without Hugo, right? He was the reason why all this shit was happening. So yeah, that's my, my thoughts on the game. I enjoyed it overall, I would say as a whole, but there was definitely, I think, I feel like the last like few streams, I was not hot on it because it, like I said, it just felt redundant. and was kind of dragging out, especially that section with the like cultists, that, pl that place was too big and it was too long and the pacing was just way too slow and it didn't feel like it needed to be either. You know? But yeah. What did you guys think? I hope you liked it. Um, thank you for everyone who watched this playthrough on Twitch. And uh... Yeah. Stood with me till the end. Oh! Oh! <gasps> Is this a new Macula user? It's a baby! Thank you, Short Raver! Oh, it's the new Macula user! He's born already? Special paint for a crossbow in New Game Plus. Alright guys, that's it. The plague's not over because the new macula user is born. I'm assuming that's a new macula user and not Hugo. It looked like a baby and not a kid, right? I mean, I guess that gives them an opening for more Plague Tale, right? If they want to continue with the series. Goddamn.